Welcome back. Uh, in previous videos, we've uh, seen how we can create an array and how we can store a number of data in the array. So in this video, we are going to explore different methods that are available that we can use on arrays. And um, actually, there are many. And by saying method, what I mean is that how can we manipulate the data in the array, actually? Okay? And uh, we, are, we will be looking into the following, the length method, the push, the shift, the unshift, the concat, the pop, slice, and the reverse methods. Okay? So for the first one, which we have actually um, checked in the last uh, video, but still, if you want to check the length property of any array, you can do console, you can do um, that array, the variable name, <coughs> and you can check dot length on it. So console.log, the, the variable name that we have store our array is called um, array of user, right? <coughs> So on that, on that area of this, I want to check its length property. And uh, what, this is going, what this is going to give us is the number of items in that array. Okay, as you can see, we have two. And in this area of user, we have the first user with the name, is married and occupation, as well as the second user. All right. So the second method we'll be exploring is uh <clears throat> sorry so the second method we'll be exploring is the push property or push method rather so the push what it does is that it appends new elements to the last i mean to the um end of an array for example if you are having three um array elements before if you push to it the new element that you are pushing is going to stack at the end Okay, so for instance, let's say console.log console.log array of fruits dot push. So what do you want to push? Let's push a uh, melon. Okay. So now we have what we have four items in that array okay so in order for this to be more glaring so let's do let's do array of food dot push okay uh what do you want to push melon and now let's console this log array of food. Take note that we initially have banana, apple, and tomatoes. And now let's see what we have. So now we now have what? Banana, apple, tomatoes, and melon. And you see that our melon comes to the end of the rest of the list. Okay? So this is. So you can say push append new elements elements to the end of the array. All right. So next up is a uh, shift. How does shift work? The shift method we extract the first element of the array so if you all, all you care about is the first element of the array well push is your um, best choice for instance let's just say a lot in this case a lot array of fruits dot shift okay so that's what we have
you see that is what is banana so what it does is it looks into the array find the first one and then run the run whatever you want on it so in this case we just well, we just alert it and what you do now is it means that it has removed that it means that particular um, item has been removed from what from the list and that is why we are now having what <coughs> sorry apple tomatoes and melon all right the next one is on shift and on shift is just what is just the opposite of shift in the sense that it is going to add the element to the beginning of what of uh, the array so for instance let's comment this out okay so let's do this let's console.log array of fruit dot on shift okay and now we have our banana back understand so what it does is that it will it will add the elements to the beginning of what of the of the array next up is a uh, concat concatenation or concat so the short form of concatenation is concat and what it does is that from the word it will just merge exactly to merge two um items together to match for example if you're having two arrays and you want to you want to merge them together you can use the concat method so let's say array of fruits or let's let's say cons new set of array equals to array of fruit dot concat concat array of users array of users okay and let me comment this out and then let's just console.log new set of array so what do we have Now we have our new set of array comprising of what the banana, the apple, the tomatoes, the melon, and then our what our array of users. You understand? So that's how concatenation works or concat method works. Then next you want to uh okay, so let's check let's check pop so how does pop work so what pop does is to extract the last element of the array just like shift is extracting the first so pop will extract the last element so i can say that cons last element or last fruit let's just use last fruit last fruit fruit equals to um array of fruits dot pop so console dot log last fruit and what do we have right let me comment out this further what's causing this delay run 
So it's what is now melon. Do you understand? So that's the last one that it's fine. And don't mind that for the four is coming from four is coming from this here. Right? So now we have our melon. Also, we can check on which method again. Let's check slice. Good. So there are a situation when you only want to select um array elements from a particular number to a particular number, or when all you want to do is you want to select a set of elements from a particular number. So you can slice from that particular number and from that particular index rather and uh, you have your list. So for example, now let's say const last user <coughs> excuse me equals to array of users dot slice. Which one do I want to slice? Now let's look at this it's a slice we take in a start number if you want and can also take n number okay so if n number is not specified it will take the number that you pass in and slice it out so for example now the element that i want to slice is the element at position one at index one who can tell me what the answer is or will be rather so let's find out console.log excuse me console.log uh last user it's supposed to be last user I'm not using last user it's okay so let's see that So now see what we have now. So my last user is what user two with all these uh, properties. So that is slice. So if it's the first one that I want, well, I can change this to a zero and change this to to what the first user so that's a first user uh, okay okay so and here we go gives me what my first user Okay, take note of what happened here. Since I'm slicing from a zero, so it means it will get to a zero, pick that element from that element up, or will not be the one to what to slice. So that and that's why it's showing um, the first user details here yeah, as well as the last user. You understand now? So, <coughs> excuse me. So this, the way slice work is that it will take in the number you pass, and from that number it slices it out. So for example, now let's say we we have let's modify our user a bit. Let's say we have third user now. So I will just paste. I will change this to user three. Change it to false, and I will change this to hmm, what? to uh at least sorry all right so and what i want now is i want all the elements from the starting from the second so i will just say one okay and let's see what happened and now i have my user two and user three and this is now what excluding a one so that's how uh, slice works.
okay and lastly here is reverse so it's just as it sounds and then you want to reverse what you are having then you can easily use reverse method so what how can we test that you can say cost reverse user reverse user equals to array of users dot reverse so this one takes no parameter it takes no i mean um <coughs> parameter yeah. so let's see okay is a three is a two what's going on here oh we are yet to log this so and now what we want to log is what reversed user and here we go so now take note that user 3 now comes first user 2 comes second and now the initial first user is now the last all right i think the video is getting so long so we'll stop here and uh we'll do our summary in the next video thank you